and comes right and I say, hey, you know nursery time is great because we learn, work and play and get to go on adventures. Great to see you, let's learn new ways about all the things from nursery days. Come, we'll enjoy what each new day brings and I say, hey, you know nursery time is great because we learn, work and play and get to go on adventures. And I say, hey! Hello, boys and girls. I trust that you had an enjoyable holiday. Welcome to Nursery Learning Adventures. My name is Teacher Nicole. What's your name? Hello, Ezekiel. Hi, Navindra. Good morning, Ariana. Hello, Akini. Thank you all for joining me. I am so happy to have you. We have quite a few things to get done today, so let's get rolling. How many days make one week? Do you know? Well, let's sing the days of the week song. That will help you to remember the days of the week. Seven days in a week, seven days in a week, seven days in a week, seven days make one week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's right, boys and girls. There are seven days in one week. Good, let's move over to our daily chart. Can you tell me what day it is today? That's right, boys and girls, today is Monday. So if today is Monday, let's go back one day. What day was yesterday? Yesterday was Sunday. You're correct if you said that. Listen carefully now. If yesterday was Sunday and today is Monday, what day will tomorrow be? If you said tomorrow will be Tuesday, then you are correct. All right, boys and girls, it's time for us to look at our weather today. Boys and girls, what is the weather like where you are? I'll give you some time to check. check? Great! Here in Georgetown where I am, the weather is sunny and bright. Let's move the arrow on our weather chart to point to the picture that shows sunny. When I get to the picture that shows sunny, you will say, stop! It's sunny! What does this picture say? This picture says windy. What does this picture say? This picture says cloudy. What about this picture? This picture says rainy. What do you think this picture says? The picture says sunny. Thank you for helping. It's now time for us to move over to our concept board. On we go to the concept board, the concept board, the concept board. On we go 
to the concept board to see what we'll be learning. Look at this picture scene. What do you see? There is a girl playing with her doll in her room. She also has two boxes of toys on the floor and some on the shelf. Oh, wow! The boy is reading a storybook. Look, he has boxes of toys as well. They both look very happy. Do you think the children have names? Yes, they have names just like you and I. The picture scene is telling us about the theme for the term, as well as the topic for this week. The theme for this term is myself. So we are going to be talking all about ourselves for this term. This week, our focus will be on my name and gender. What is your name? Thanks for sharing. Boys and girls, our name helps us to be identified. Now, I need you to go and stand in front of the mirror and take a good look at yourself. Go on, I'll wait. That you have looked at yourself. Tell me, are you a boy or a girl? If you are a boy, say, I'm a boy. And if you're a girl, say, I am a girl. Thank you for sharing. I hope you enjoyed that exercise. We will learn more about ourselves during the term. It's literacy time, let's have fun. It's literacy time, let's have fun. It's literacy time, it's literacy time, it's literacy time, let's have fun. It's literacy time, let's have fun. It's literacy time, let's have fun. It's literacy time, it's literacy time, it's literacy time, let's have fun. Boys and girls, let's learn about ourselves. Boys and girls, get ready. It's literacy time. I am teacher Nicole and I will be your literacy teacher for this week. I am super excited for this lesson today. So let's get started. Boys and girls, I would like you to listen carefully to a short storyline, which will let you know a little bit more about the letter for the week. And at the end of it, we will talk about what you heard. I have a friend whose name is T -t Tim. He likes to play T -t tag and tug. Tim ate 10 tennis rolls with tomatoes on Thursday. At the zoo, Tim saw a T -t tiger playing T -t tennis with a T -t turtle and a turkey. As the ball touched the racket, it made a t, t sound. Now, boys and girls, let us talk about what you heard. What sound did you hear in the story? That's right. We heard the t sound. Boys and girls, can you name the words you heard with the t sound? Go right ahead. We heard the words tag, tug, ten, tennis, turtle, tiger, Tim, Thursday, tomatoes. Hmm. Boys and girls, do you know what letter makes that sound? If you said letter T, then you are correct. Letter T makes the T sound. Uppercase T and lowercase T says T as in tap, tin, 
tub and Tim. Here we have the T sound at the beginning. Before we move on, boys and girls, did you notice that Tim begins with an uppercase T? Do you know why? No, don't worry, I'll tell you. It is because Tim is the name of a person. Letter T also says T at the end of these words. Bat, mat, and cat. Let's make the sound together. T, T, T. Great. The letter T is a consonant and it's the 20th letter of the alphabet. Now that you know the letter and its sound, I would like you to keep practicing to make the letter sound. Boys and girls, I'd like you to participate in this exercise. Listen carefully as I call the words. Then you will tell me where you heard the t sound. Are you ready? Hot, bet, jet, mat, kit, cat, bat. Where did you hear the t sound? Is it at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of the words? That's right, boys and girls. It's at the end of the words. Now think of some more words that have the t sound at the end and say them out loud. Well done. What about these words? Tap, ten, tin, Tim, tomato. Where did you hear the t sound? Is it at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of the words? That's right, boys and girls. It's at the beginning of the words. Now, think of some more words that have the t sound at the beginning and say them out loud. Awesome job. Boys and girls, now that we have learned more words with the t sound, let us clap to the syllables in some of those words. Now you might be wondering, what is a syllable? A syllable is a part of a word and we can find how many parts a word has by clapping to the beat. Let me give you an example. The word is tap. Let us clap and say the word tap. Tap. How many times did I clap? One time. That means tap has one syllable. Let's try it with the word tin. Let's clap and say the word tin. Tin. How many syllables is in that word? That's right, one. Let's try again with the word turtle. Let's clap and say the word turtle. Turtle. How many times did I clap? Boys and girls, do you know? Yes? 
Boys and girls, I clapped two times. So the word turtle has two syllables. Okay, let's clap one more word. The word is tomatoes. Tomatoes. How many syllables did you hear in that word? If you said three, you are absolutely correct. Wow, we have learned a lot about the t sound, the name of the letter and words with its sound, at the beginning, in the middle, and at the end. Okay, let's take a few moments and practice writing the uppercase T. To write the uppercase T, draw a standing line, then go back to the top and draw a sleeping line at the top of the standing line. Let's write that again. Draw a standing line, then go back to the top and draw a sleeping line at the top of the standing line. That's the way we write the uppercase T. To write the lowercase T, draw a standing line, then go to the middle and draw a sleeping line. When you are finished, it should look like a cross. Let's do it again. Draw a standing line, then go to the middle and draw a sleeping line. Make sure it looks like a cross when you are finished. That's how we write uppercase T and lowercase T. Make sure to keep practicing writing the letters. The more you practice, the better you will get at writing the letter T. Okay, boys and girls. Let's recap. Today, we talked about letter T. We learned that letter T says T, as in tap, tin, ten, and tug. T also says T in the middle of words like turtle and tortoise. T also says t at the end of words such as bat, cat, hut, and kit. We had fun clapping words and learning how many syllables they have. Finally, we learned a fun way to write the uppercase T and the lowercase T. Boys and girls, it's now time for us to do some work based on what we have learned. Take out your literacy worksheets provided by the Ministry of Education and complete week one, day one activity. Have fun completing your activities. See you next time. Bye. Welcome boys and girls to your first math lesson for the season. Let's take a few minutes to prepare for our lesson by counting with teacher Monique. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. Boys and girls, can you guess what our lesson will be about today? You're correct. We will be learning about one. The amount, the numeral, and the numeral name. Pay attention as I show you the amount one. One boy, one girl, one pencil, one book, one chair. It's now your turn to say which picture is showing one object. 
Point to the picture card with one object or thing. Excellent work boys and girls. I am sure you were able to get them all correct. Now that you can identify one object or thing, let's learn how to make numeral one. Listen carefully. Numeral one is like a stick, a straight line down that's very quick. Say after me. Numeral one is like a stick, a straight line down that's very quick. Now you say it. Now let's spell the word one together. O-N-E, one. Say it with me. O-N-E, one. Again. O N E one. Once more. O N E one. Oh wow! We have learned a lot about numeral one today. Numeral one is like a stick, a straight line down that's very quick. One more time. Numeral one is like a stick. A straight line down that's very quick. Okay, boys and girls, we can now do an activity based on our lesson for today. Go get your crayons and your workbooks provided by the Ministry of Education. And let's complete the activity for week one, day one. Boys and girls, take your time and do your best work. Have fun while doing it. Bye-bye. See you later. Good morning, everybody. And how are you? How are you? How are you? Good morning, everybody. And how are you? Welcome to Learning Adventures. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Nursery Learning Adventures. This is your year two literacy class. And I am teacher Alicia. I am very excited to have you all here with me today. I have a very exciting learning program. Let's jump right into the, to today's lesson. Today, we will be learning about having a friend. We will also be learning about the T blends. Boys and girls, do you know what a friend is? A friend is a very special person that you can share things with. You can share your food, your clothes, and even your toys with them. A friend is a boy or a girl that cares about you and you care about them too. You show kindness to your friends. One of the best things that you can have is a good friend. Every boy and every girl should have a friend. Making friends help you to feel like you belong or that you are a part of something. And this makes you feel very good about yourself. Having friends help you to get along with people. And this is very important as you get older. You can learn so much from your friends because each person is unique in their own way. And they all have something different to teach you. Boys and girls, do you have a friend? If you do, I am so very happy for you. Remember to always be kind to your friends. Now we will continue today's lesson by learning about blends. What are we learning about today? Blends, that's right. What are blends, you might ask? Does it involve blending up different things into a blender to make something new? Well, it's kind of like that, but we don't use a blender. 
Instead, we put letters together to make something new. So it's just as fun. These letters all have different sounds. And as you put them together, you can sound the letters out and make new words. We have 26 letters in the alphabet, right? Out of the 26 letters, five are vowels, correct? The other 21 letters are called consonants. When we put a consonant and a vowel together, we make a blend. Today, we will be learning about the T blends. The T blends. Here on your screen, we have the vowels. We have A, E, I, O, U. And we will be doing the letter T. And as we know, T is a consonant. Now, let's put T in front of all the vowels to make a blend. So we will have T in front of A, which will give us T A. What sound does T make again? T. Good. T. Very good. T says T. And what sound does A make? A says A. Ah. A. Ah. Now let's try to put them together. So we have T. A. Ah. Ah, say that again. T ah, great. T ah gives us ta. What does it give us? Ta, great. Now we will do the others. We have T in front of E, and T says T. Very good. And E says eh. So we have T eh. T eh. T. What do we have? E says T. Very good. Now let's move on. Now we put T in front of I and we have T I. T says T and I says E. So we have T E. T E. T. Very good. Now let's do the other one. We have T in front of O and T says T and O says O. Oh. So we have t, aw, t, aw, t, aw, ta. The last one is we put t in front of u and we have t and u. t and u. And what sound does t make? t says t and u says aw. Oh. So we have t, aw, t, aw, t, aw, ta. So we have T A TA T E T T I T T O TA and T U TA. Let's try to say that again. We have TA T A T T E T T I TA T O and TA T U. So let's say it a little bit faster. We have TA te te ta ta again we have ta te te ta ta we have ta te te ta ta very good remember boys and girls the more you say it the faster you will learn it so say it one more time with me ta te te ta Ta. Very good, boys and girls. Remember when I said we will try to make new words? These are not words as yet. They are blends. We have to add something else to make them into words. Will you help me to find letters to add to make them words? Great. Let's start with the first one. We have T-A. Ta. What letter can we add to make a word. Okay, we will try the letter G. If we put G at the end, we will get a word. Let's try to say it. We have T A G. Let's sound it out. T A G. T A G. 
Tag. Yes, tag. Tag is a word. It's like a name tag that you wear on your clothes. Very well. We will try the others. The next one is te, te. What can we add to make it into a word? Let's try the letter N. Say it, T-E-N. Let's sound it out, T-N, T-N, ten. Ten is a numeral. Next, we have T-I, T. What letter can we add to make a word? Let's try the letter M, T-I-M, T-I-M, Tim. Tim is a name of a boy, but a point to note is that Tim starts with a capital letter because it is the name of a person. Now we have T-O, T-O. What letter can we put to make this into a word? Let's try the letter P. Let's sound it out. T-O-P, T-O-P, top. A top is a toy that you can spin with your fingers. And the last one is T-U, T-U. Can you think of a letter to add at the end to make a word? Very good, we will add the letter B. Let's try it, we'll sound it out. T-U-B, 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 tub, a tub. This is a large tool that can be used for washing your clothes. Very well, boys and girls. It was so much fun learning all of these new blends and words with you. Now, I would like you to listen carefully to this little story using the new words that we made. Tag, ten, Tim, top, and tub. Listen carefully. In the nursery class, Tim wears his name tag while he stands at the door looking at his friends playing. His friend Tom called him into the schoolyard to play with his top. There he spun the top with his thumb and index fingers. Oh no, it fell into the mud and got all dirty. Tim ran to wash it in the tub where he rubbed and rubbed with his 10 little fingers. Thank you for listening to that story. And I hope you heard all of the t sounds and the T-blend words. You can try to make some other words using the T-blends. There are so many words that you can make. Boys and girls, we have come to the end of our lesson for today. I had so much fun. I am sure you did too. Let's recap quickly. We learned that every boy and every girl has a friend. And we also learned about the T-blends and made words using the T-blends. Boys and girls, it's now time for us to do some work based on what we've learned. Take out your literacy year two worksheets provided by the Ministry of Education and complete the activity for week one, day one. Have fun completing the activity. See you next time. Welcome boys and girls to your year two math class. I am teacher Kelly and I will be your math teacher for this week. Now we have lots of work to do today. So let's get started. This week, we will be looking at height. Boys and girls, do you know what the word height means? Hmm. Height is the distance from the bottom to the top of something that is standing up or from the head to a foot of a person. So this week, we will be looking at the height of people and things. We will try to find out which object or person is tall, taller, and tallest. Let's look at this picture of some trees. 
How many trees do you see? Let's count the trees. One, two, three. Tree trees. There is a cherry tree, a lemon tree, and a coconut tree. The cherry tree is tall. The lemon tree is taller than the cherry tree. And the coconut tree is the tallest tree. Let's go over that again. The cherry tree is tall. The lemon tree is taller than the cherry tree. And the coconut tree is the tallest tree. Tall, taller, tallest. Great job saying that with me, boys and girls. Now let's see if we can figure out the heights of the children in the picture. Can you see the three best friends standing together? You can? Great! Point to the tall friend. Boys and girls, if you pointed to this one, you are correct. He is the tall friend. Now, can you point to the friend that is taller? If you pointed to this one, you are correct. He is the taller friend. Now, boys and girls, can you point to the tallest friend in the picture? If you pointed to this one, you are correct. She is the tallest friend in the picture. Tall, taller, tallest. Great job finding out which friend is tall, taller and tallest. If you did not get the correct answers, that's okay. Keep on practicing. Now boys and girls, I have a special activity for you to try at home. You will need the help of three other persons. You can use your mommy, daddy, brother, or sister. Let your mommy, daddy, brother, or sister stand close together and try to identify who is tall, taller, and tallest. Have fun doing that activity at home. Now, boys and girls, we would have learned all about heights today. Height is the distance from the bottom to the top of something that is standing up or from the head to a foot of a person. We also try to find out which person or tree is tall, taller and tallest. So now that you know all about heights, tall, taller, and tallest, it's time for us to do some activities based on what you learned. So take out your year two numeracy worksheet provided by the Ministry of Education and complete the activity for week one, day one. Ensure that you write your name on the lines. Have fun doing those activities. Do your best. Goodbye. See you next time.